Okay, I thought I'd record a quick video about my preferred PS1 emulation settings, specifically with DuckStation, because I really don't want to use RetroArch. But yeah, I don't have access to my CRTs at the moment, so I was looking for a good CRT shader alternative, and I found this one. DuckStation's default shader options don't really do it for me, but I found these additional CRT shaders, which I've linked in the description, so you can install it yourself. But yeah, let's dive into the settings. Okay, so uh, we're going to start with the internal resolution scaling. I have it at 4K, texture filtering, nearest neighbor, downsampling, box at 3x. And I should just say uh, as well that uh, change all these to your personal preference. These are just my preferred settings, and I'm not an expert at this stuff. If you know any other additional settings I should be changing, yeah, let me know. There's also the PGXP section at the bottom, which you can turn on and off, that stabilizes the PS1's classic warping textures. It's not accurate to actual console, but it doesn't really need to be, I think. I, the look I guess I'm going for is something that's maybe a more of like a modern PS1 type of aesthetic versus true accuracy. Um, yeah, it's interesting to play around with and see how it looks. Okay, in the post-processing tab, we're gonna add the two guest shaders here with the pre-shader above the NTSC one, and then jump into the settings. So to start, we're gonna just go from the top down and hit some of the most important settings I've been messing around with. NTSC resolution scaling is probably the most important one. It defaults at one, but you can change it up to two. This is up to your preference, depending on the game. I prefer setting it to two for most games just for clarity. And then scrolling a bit down, we get to the gamma input and gamma output, and I've just very slightly tweaked them to bring them up a little bit because scan lines do, of course, darken this picture. Again, to your preference. Another one that is a requirement is high resolution scan lines. They just simply fix misaligned scan lines. This should be on, at least for my settings uh, on 4K display, it is necessary and I'll show some comparisons after as well. Horizontal glow sigma and vertical glow sigma. These recreate, as far as I can tell, they recreate the phosphorus glow of the CRT, but the default setting looks way too over the top for me. So I turned both settings to the lowest they will go and I think that looks a lot better. And then at the bottom here, CRT mask, you can change this to your preference. I just have it at six. This PlayStation Boot is a great example of the high resolution scan lines, of the misalignment of scan lines versus when they're properly aligned, and you can see the text difference there. The rest of the video is going to be comparisons of different games with different settings, and there will be timestamps in there. But yeah, you can see the differences that I've played around with here, and adjust to your own preferences, of course. Thanks for watching, and enjoy the rest of the footage. in working order. At this speed, we should catch up to Gramps any time now. Boy, that new engine sure is something. Completely different from the old one. <laughs> <laughs> well, it was expensive, but it was worth it. I'll take over. Oh, thanks. Colonel, what's a Russian gunship doing here? I have no idea, but it looks... 
Looks like our little diversion got their attention. Now's your best chance to slip in unnoticed. Monitoring your movements by radar, so contact us by codec anytime you want. Got it. I'll call if I'm feeling lonely. Seriously, Snake, we're here to back you up, so call if you need some information or advice. I'm also in charge of your mission data. Contact me if you want me to record your current status. My frequency is 140.96. It's a dedicated frequency for saving data. Don't forget it. <laughs> 